Forest protection often involves understanding how gases or particles move and disperse through the air. Examples where this knowledge is important include predicting the movement of pesticide sprays, smoke from fires, or methyl bromide from log fumigation at ports. Knowing how such stuff moves and disperses in the atmosphere is critical for risk assessments and to ensure treatments are applied with the right doses under the right conditions. The science of how stuff moves and disperses in the air is known as atmospheric dispersion. Factors that influence atmospheric dispersion include meteorology, turbulence, and roughness of the surface, such as the forest canopy. Characterization of the physical properties of the gas or particles emitted at the plume source, where, when, and how much is emitted, is also important and a part of atmospheric dispersion science. The goal of my research is to improve forest protection by advancing our understanding of plume dispersion in complex environments, such as forests, on steep terrain, and around ports and in urban environments. Recently, I investigated the dispersion potential of a gas released from a fumigated log stack. The collected data were used to test a Lagrangian dispersion model. That is a model that computationally follows the plume parcels as they move and disperse from the source. The base model was adjusted to represent the fumigation gas source and was modeled with New Zealand meteorology. This was linked to the dispersion model, which was then used to predict downwind concentrations of this fumigation gas. I also explored the possibility of using the dispersion model to predict good and poor dispersion periods several days in advance. This would potentially allow for improved scheduling of fumigation operations. Sometimes, new hypotheses and algorithms have to be tested and developed to account for plume dispersion in complex environments. For example, to model smoke plumes near a wildfire, fire-atmosphere interactions must be accounted for to accurately model the smoke plume thickness near the fire line. These algorithms will go into existing systems such as the U.S. Forest Service's Blue Sky Smoke Modeling Framework. I'm advising the U.S. Forest Service and Australia's CSIRO on how to modify the modeling framework for use in Australia and New Zealand. I'm also working to improve efficacy of aerially sprayed pesticides through research on how to use helicopter turbulence to drive the aerosol into the canopy. This approach enables the use of large droplet sizes that otherwise would not provide the treatment efficacy. The larger droplet sizes reduces aerosol spray drift. This technology was put to use during the 2013 eucalyptus leaf beetle incursion in Upper Hutt, New Zealand. Aerosol spray models are used in risk assessments to help optimize treatments and manage what is often a trade-off between biological efficacy and cost on one hand and the environmental impact on the other. It is important that these models appropriately simulate aerosol drift as overprediction can lead to restrictive treatments while underprediction can lead to environmental impacts. Current research will test the hypotheses that the canopy top creates small eddies that facilitates deposition of small aerosol droplets, thus reducing drift to a greater extent than what is already accounted for in current aerosol spray drift models. A new algorithm developed to describe this process will be submitted to the U.S. Forest Service AgDIS developers for addition to this model. AgDIS is an aerial spray drift model designed to predict drift under different conditions. Atmospheric dispersion is an important component of forest protection and understanding the physical processes that influence dispersion such as meteorology, turbulence, and surface roughness will lead to improved forest protection methods and tools.